This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. Welcoming you to another half ass production. Today we're making a little tour of a new art neighborhood known as Mojo because it's between the Morgan Avenue station and the Jefferson Street station here on the L train. We're gonna start this tour with a visit to Third Ward. If it's 195 Morgan Avenue and the show we're going to be looking at is Vertigos by Nat Green and Owen Chopa. So let's take a look. Oh boy. We've got some very large uh, constructions in here. Seats and cables. Gee, can I ride on that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> wow. What kind of insurance do they have here? Wow. This is a very impressive piece, and I would actually have to say that these guys probably have spent a lot of time at Coney Island. Are related to uh, carnival rides or Ferris wheels and tilt and whirls. Looks like they've got car seats here from a Ford Escort. It invites observers to jump into one of the seats. That's Vertigo's by Matt Green and Owen Shop here at Third Ward. Now we're going to take a look at Knucklehead Blues, two-person show with Jason Eisner and Brent Owens at English Kills Gallery. Once you pass the moan ration mark, you've passed it. A large woodcut. I mean, it's not like, it's not like a neat thing, but it's a big idea just to turn it all off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are the kind of carving projects I used to try to do when I was in the Boy Scouts. To carve the chain links. Etched little saws here. We got here the taxpayer. Is this somebody's still? Uh, what we've got going here, we're gonna make some moonshine. A little yeah. propane grill. We got our mash pot. Goes up here. Some cooling coils. Ice cold pussy. Okay, that should uh, attract a clientele. Lord, let me die with a hammer in my hand. Are we talking to Brent Owens, one of the artists here? I was wondering if that contraption in there is the still, and I heard you talking about your hangover. So uh, why don't you tell us about your your project here? All right. Um the still is uh, something I've been working on for the past, say, six months. It's a design that comes from down south and a family recipe, actually, for the show. Your family? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, like my great-grandparents, for instance, uh, supported themselves on moonshining. I think it was probably a slightly different still design. But what the, what uh, proof is the uh, the booze that comes out of there? You know, I'm not exactly sure at this point. I need to do strong. Some time. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's strong. It's it's hurting proof for sure. Hurting proof. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. So um, yeah, so uh, there's actually some stuff that can be sampled. 
uh, here at the gallery. We're not going to have the revenuers besting down the doors on us, are we? I should hope not. I kind of wondered about It'd be that. be good for uh, publicity. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it couldn't hurt in that way. But, You've actually been drinking this stuff. I have, yeah. I haven't gone blind or anything? No, I did thorough tests before I brought it to the show. Oh, that's nice to know. Anyone else. <laughs> A length yeah. from it. So. Have you have you had any taste on that yourself, Chris? Yes, I have. I've, I've tested as well. Okay, and you're uh, you're still I, healthy, I, and I can and you still can still see. see and <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that's very interesting. And uh, the show opened last night. Opened last night. Um, we had a nice little shindig here. And we're gonna have uh, moonshine for the uh, the run of the uh, exhibition. Well, uh, we'll see how long it holds up. It holds up a, a good while. I, I think we went through maybe a gallon and a half last night, a gallon, gallon and a half. Okay. Um, still wow. quite a bit to be had. And, nobody died, uh, huh? Nobody died. I think That's people might news. have thought this morning that they were going to, but <laughs> okay. I certainly did. Well, congratulations. Uh, I might you. go in there and take a little taste. You should. You should check it out. Tell me what you think. I'll Thanks. Right <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, okay. I'll try this. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, but it does burn. So, That's tasty, yeah. huh? If I had, if I, I was it's listening kind of to you, so I'm ready. Like, it's uh, a little sneaky, you know? It's like, yeah. This is the back gallery. Got some more goofy vernacular sculpture here. The uh, homemade rumpus room uh, woodworking shop aesthetic is very popular these days. Interesting expressionistic landscapes with uh, hand carved and routed frames on there. I think we'll wrap up this little tour of Mojo with a visit here to Nurture Art. Let's see what they get going on. So this is Nurture Art. And the title of this exhibition is Bodies of at Work. And it's curated by Brian Balderston. Now, Nurture Art is actually a publicly funded space that promotes the uh, education and activities of young curators. They operate a slide file of artists and they ask uh, curators to come in and, and curate shows out of their file, which I believe contains over a thousand uh, different artists' work. This is by Neil Breyer, Skylight and the Podium. Top of James Combs head. Okay. Yeah, we've got a couple of large format photographs. These are by Marshall Maurice Marais attempting the Z plane and the Lush base. It's by Jose Riaz. How to fight loneliness. video screen and a book. So that was it from Mojo out here in the eastern edge of Williamsburg. I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Thanks Kate.